And that's true, folks. I mean, you can be at your worst physically or mentally. You can be sick as a dog. You have horrible things happen at home. When the bell rang and he went out there, it was internal. That's right. Right. And it's your turn to glow and your turn to make people enjoy where they're at. At the same time, you enjoy your. I've wrestled with broken bones. I've wrestled with the pack that was torn in half. Bring it on, Drake. <laughs> I was going to get out of jick his ass, but I'm a nice guy, so I did. Yeah, good. 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 Right. Not enough. Not enough. I was kidding me. Holy shit. I'll tell you what happened that night. We were in Philadelphia, and I clotheslined Andre. We're just stupid, Jake. What are you trying to clothesline that big son of a bitch for? Did you expect him to take a bump? Well, he did. He went through me. Right. And he went through me. Oh, yeah. It ripped my back in half. Oh. It was just 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Ripped my back in half. I went down on the mat then. I, I broke my shoulder. Right. He broke in my in shoulder. And he reached down with one hand and grabbed my wrist and jerked me to my feet with the bad arm. Mm. I passed out. Passed out. Wow. And I woke up and he's got me in a bear hug going, it's okay, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking sitting <laughs> into me. <laughs> like, ring the bell, ring the bell. Oh my God, I'm such fucking baby. No. Okay, we don't read the mail. Don't read the mail. <laughs> and not only did we finish that match, but that night at seven o'clock, we wrestled again in a Scranton BA. Wow. You know, but that's the passion and the love. I mean, that's one of the things that I think that this TV show we were talking about mm -hmm. is start and let the people have a little bit of taste. Right. Show sure, a little bit of the background to what gets you there. Uh, you know, you know, from watching all those years and being a big part of wrestling, the passion that the guys. Oh, yes. Yes, and, and you know the frustrations yes. that you guys have. Yes, you know having to deal with attitudes and deal with with injuries and, and just everything. And you you think you can count on one thing, and be goddamned if something doesn't happen, that one thing ain't there. But it's also the the ability for everyone to pitch in and make it happen. Absolutely. Look at Magnum. Yeah, absolutely. You know when and, when he had the car accident. Yeah. You know that all of a sudden everybody. Pitched in yeah. and made it work. Yeah. I'll tell you, Mags, man, oh. that, that guy, it, it, yeah, and Stinger, not to take anything, oh, not, not take anything away from Stinger. Stare, apparent. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, not to take anything away from Stinger, you know, who is the right. franchise all it. But I, I don't know if it's the same in Zach Run if Mags doesn't get in that car accident and doesn't end up. He would have been the guy. Yep. Yeah, he yeah. would have been. Yeah. Because he, he, he had to look. Crew. The camera loved him. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's, you know, that, the mustache. Yeah. He's so handsome. Uh -huh. Yeah. Super uh -huh. handsome. <laughs> but he, I didn't want to steal his gimmick. But <laughs> you too, the camera loved you. Yeah. Even, yeah. you know, your facial expressions yeah. would tell a story yeah. without saying anything. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I appreciate that very much. Oh, really? It was, it, I loved your interviews. I, you know, I'm almost embarrassed to tell you guys this, but I never had to about that. It just came to me. And I would, re I would remember three or four words of a song. Right. And I'd throw that in there. Because I kind of went with the thought of, if I say something these people have heard before, they automatically believe it. So if you say several words from the song, they go, oh, yeah. And you think about it. Right. right. I, don't know. I remember when you said, and Dustin used to do that, too. Absolutely. Yeah. They were all in Superstar Billy Graham and Bob Dylan. They're doing their stuff. Yeah, they the greatest writer. Just be smart enough to know where to steal your shit. Right. right. <laughs> Absolutely. So